With the population and land density, Nigeria has the potential to become one of the leading nations in pharmaceutical productions. Now, this is the position of female experts in the pharmaceutical industry who gathered to examine possibilities in the industry. Our correspondent Wilson Omonier reports. The Association of Lady Pharmacists boasts a robust membership with first ladies, ministers, heads of government agencies and other top professionals present for this conference. The conversation is on the role of pharmacists in promoting safe production, distribution and use of drugs in Nigeria. To ensure the safety, efficacy and quality of drugs available in our country. To promote the rational use of drugs in the country. In ensuring access to safe, effective and quality assured medicines, a comprehensive approach is required across the pharmaceutical value chain. Speakers note the revenue medical tourism can bring for any society as a recommend policy and strategy changes that must be adopted by pharmacists and governments towards this end. The most important part of the entire the entire value chain is one person called the patient. And as long as every decision that we make, every decision we make or don't make is in the, is in the best interest of the patient, then we will be in a good stead. So we need to be able to incentivize the healthcare investment space. And that can only be done by advocacy between us who need the money and the government who is in a position to provide interventional funding. In your professional service, who talks about it when they are dealing with the Budget of Nigeria. Do they call you? Do they see you as a major partner to promoting the economy of this country? Responding to claims of lopsided enforcement of regulations by some pharmacists present, the DG NAFTAC Professor Adiaye notes that only when the big players in the industry comply with basic ethical standards can it be possible to keep pharmaceutical distributors in line. We regulate a lot of the former, but we have to start from somewhere. Uh, if we don't regulate the former, then there's going to be problem with the informer. Uh, the government is working on it every day through the uh, coordinated OCE network, uh, where uh, we will not have the informal sectors again, they will be in a, like a drug mall, a uh, drug market mall, so to say. The COVID-19 pandemic has revealed a gap in the pharmaceutical industry as African nations continue to struggle for local production of vaccination and medical supplies. Those here say this narrative must change should the world ever need to depend on Africa to produce medicines for the rest of the planet.